Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley, and I'm an American actress and a TV host, and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real-life relationship. It's just, it's well-written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well-focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon a Real-Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamohsenzia.com and www.amazon.com slash Mia Mohsen Zia. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author Mia Motion Z of No Time for Love called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers available on all formats today. Also, The Mike Widener Show can be heard on themikewidenershow.com and on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon Audible. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. And heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a terrific singer, songwriter, and very multi talented from the Motor City, who's got a very, very nice musical lineage. He is the cousin to the hit female rapper Boss, 
and sixth cousin to Louis Armstrong. And yes, it's a wonderful world to be related to Louis. And of course, uh, he also released a first single back in 17 called Live for the Moment. And this guy is living for the moment. We'll be featuring one of his hit songs in just a minute. Live from the Plus Studios in the beautiful Motor City of Detroit, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, the very talented singer, songwriter, and very multi-talented musician, Hollis Jordan. Hollis, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Mike, for having me. I, I'm really honored to be here with you this evening. I'm, I'm very appreciative. And uh, very uh, honored to have you as well, too. It's such a great lineage as well, too, since you're the cousin to uh, hip female rapper Boss, and you're the sixth cousin to Louis Armstrong, and you've been in Detroit for quite a quite a while you also released your first single called live for the moment um about a few years ago and we're going to feature your new song run away in just a minute i mean you've got an interesting uh legacy and before we get to all that tell us how i first got started hollis yes i first got started um i can't remember the year but my mom was uh, a huge 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 music fan and she played different records from i mean all type of genres of music and i just absolutely fell in love with music i didn't understand what it was exactly because i was just so young but um she would buy me different toys for christmas and i would just turn everything into a a, a drum set basically pots and pans <laughs> pinball machines i mean i Everything I was beating on it, I didn't understand yep. what was going on, but it was just so fun and so cool. Um, and she got me involved with different programs in school, Christmas programs. And um, eventually I came out of my shell as far as being a shy person. And I began um, at a school called Van Zow on the east side of Detroit. And I sung at the Christmas program. I sung Little Drummer Boy. That was my absolute first time singing in front of people. I was completely terrified, <laughs> um, as you can imagine. And from that particular point on, the joy that I seen on people's faces, the smiles and just the happiness that that performance brought to people, it electrified me. And I said, you know what? This is what I want to do with my life. I want to be a singer. That is amazing. And I also get uh, great joy on uh, beating and playing pinball machines. When I first heard that, I'm like, oh, my gosh, pinball wizard to the next level, especially being on pots and pans. I mean, who who has never done that in her childhood? <laughs> right, right. Absolutely. <laughs> That is amazing. And, um, and of course, we talked about the one moment that precisely influenced you. I think you answered that question. And who are some of your favorite artists, singers, and musicians growing up? I I really love the the artists from the Motown tutelage, like um, Stevie Wonder, Smokey Robinson, um, Michael Jackson, and just so many others who actually um, I grew up listening to and who actually influenced my sound that you hear today. Mm hmm. And, and of course, uh, who who would you say was probably like the um one most uh, important factor as well too? like, um you know, the one important talent. And what would you say? Um, how would you describe your um your, your singing style? Honestly, um, Michael Jackson had the absolute most influence on me just with Thriller. I remember my brothers and uh, my sister, they would they would put on, because as a kid, I don't know why, but I was super afraid of the Thriller video. And I can remember they would put on a video and I would just scream and run out of the room. Um, but Michael Jackson had a huge impact on um, you know, the reason why I do music today, just you know, his hard work ethic and the you know, different abilities that he had um, as far as performing is concerned. And I was like, wow, I want to have that type of impact on the world. So I watched videos and videos and videos year and year, and year out, um, just trying to study how to be a perfectionist um, like Michael Jackson. And, um, you know, I'm still working on it, but, you know, I feel like I'm close to it. But Michael Jackson was definitely the number one inspiration um, for my music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, being sex cousin to Louis Armstrong, and uh, maybe you can just tell us about uh, you know, what your family described to you about Louis Armstrong, and um, also being a cousin to uh, the hit female rapper Boss. I mean, interesting lineage I have, especially like to hear about uh, Louis Armstrong coming from your uh, family members from uh, generations back. Yeah, well, my grandmother is the fourth cousin to Louis Armstrong, and uh, my mom is obviously the fifth cousin, and um I, I didn't really learn too much about Louie until I, you know, was like a teenager. 
and I really got to understand um, who he was as a musician, as a jazz musician, and um, it just made me appreciate him so much more. But not too many stories directly because he was just so far ahead in our family tree. But just knowing that I am connected to some someone so fantastic as himself, um, I, I just I just look at it as inspiration and motivation, and I want to be able to carry the torch for my family um, as far as our musical legacy. Mm -hmm. And yes, what a wonderful world indeed to be a sixth cousin of uh, Louis Armstrong. We'll talk about your uh, upcoming single and also some of your um, other good musical uh, works. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's one 800 303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by a well-known award-winning author, Me Emotions, You Have No Time for Love, called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers available on all formats today. Also, The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com and over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible, and coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take The Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to The Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel and follow The Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here singer songwriter the multi-talented hollis jordan here on the mike widener show of detroit michigan and um you also have the one song called live for the moment which you um which you uh came out in 17 and uh also a few more as well too and uh tell us more about that yeah so uh live for the moment was actually produced by my older brother mo Sax is the name that he goes by um it's a combination of you know two different record companies motown and another company, um, Stax Records, and he formed um, his own company based off of that, and he calls himself Most Stax. But he produced that record for me. He sent it to me, um, and I just absolutely fell in love with the beat. And I, I, when I first started, I always wanted to have, like, a positive message in my music. And um, it took me a while, honestly, because I was just getting started in writing songs. I was just so used to other people, you know, kind of spearheading that mm -hmm. particular element of music for me. And this is my first opportunity to write my own song and put my thoughts into it. And I was just completely stuck. But it took me a few months. Um, and I finally actually what happened is I, I think I recorded the hook first. And then my mom and my brother started offering different ideas um, throughout the, you know, you know, it took about two or three months for me to revisit the song and they offered some ideas and um i ended up taking some of those ideas and incorporating the song and then literally i mean that same day i recorded the entire song and we released it to the world and um that was just one of my you know favorite accomplishments because that was my first song you know my first international song produced by my entire family so i i'm very proud of that song Mm -hmm. And of course, you also uh, been in the choir as well, too, that won uh, multiple awards and uh, you got the praise of Motor City Praise Records and um, got an organization called God Little Soldiers. And uh, tell us about that. And of course, you know, difference between choir singing and also, um, you know, what you're doing as well, too. I mean, you've got some uh, really amazing stuff out there. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, the choir really after, you know, my mom got me in that Christmas program, um, I was at one school and then I ended up at another school a few years later and they were having auditions for um, the choir, God's Little Soldiers. And, you know, once again, because I, I had only sung at a couple of school programs before then, I was still, you know, super nervous and not confident in myself. And when I heard that they were, you know, doing auditions for the choir, I said, I'm going to do it. And I, hopefully I make it. I don't know if I will or will not. Uh, but I did, and I made it, and then literally this is the moment that, like, just opened up my eyes to the world of the music business. Because before, it was just a hobby. It was something that I enjoyed. 
I enjoy making people smile and happy. But this was the opportunity for me to learn the business side of music. And um, I sung with those guys for maybe four or five years, and we've won multiple awards, Stella Awards, and we even have a day named after us in San Francisco, California, which is God's Little Soldier's Day. Don't quote me on the actual day. It's been a while. <laughs> but um, I, can, I can for sure tell you that we have a day named after us in San Francisco, God's Little Soldier's Day. But that opened up my, like I said, my, 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 um, my mind to the music business and how everything worked behind the scenes. And from that point on, you know, I've hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. And what, and and what is your preference um, in terms of uh, music being on the business side of the music or being in front of the microphone, um, singing and and, uh, putting out records? Honestly, I love both sides. I enjoy both sides equally. Um, You know, business to me is super fun meeting people and collaborating with people um, has always been my, my ideal of a successful working relationship is bringing people together who know how to do certain things and putting them together on a team and we all go for the same goal. And then also creating is the same thing, you know, putting people who, can know, who know how to put together music and arrangements and songwriting and mixing and mastering. All of those things are super enjoyable and um, I, I absolutely love both sides. I can't pick one over the other. <laughs> I mean, I, w- I would I would have a hard time as well, too. And uh, I mean, to give a really good uh, side of it, too. And um, lastly, what do you base your lyrics on? Well, you know, I, I, I try to pull from, you know, real experiences for the most part. But some songs, you know, require just, you know, having fun. You know, it's not about always being super serious and, You know, everything doesn't have to be factual all the time. But for the most part, um, I just like to have fun with the music. And, you know, even though some some songs I write about, um, I never experienced them. But I have friends and family. And, you know, I, I actually look on social media and just, you know, dig through different stories. And I pull from that and I create something out of nothing. So everything is not always based on what Hollis went through. But it's, you know, with my friends, family and, you know, people I've never even met. You know, I try to speak to those people. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, speaking as well, too, and uh, we'll play your um, latest song, Runaway, featuring Zara Dene in just a minute. But first, listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author Mia Motion Zia of No Time for Love Call Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers available on all formats today. Also, The Mike Widener Show can be heard on themikewidenershow.com and over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. And heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We hear a singer songwriter, the very multi talented Hollis Jordan from Detroit, Michigan, here on the Mike Wagner Show. Right now, here's his brand new latest with Runaway with Zara Denane. Here is Hollis Jordan with Runaway on the Mike Wagner Show. Party. 
listen when I'm sick, I'm tidy. You show me that you are the only one I love and need. You stick your bodies like a felony. Them she hit daddy won't hurt just for me, to me. Ooh, let's run away. Great song, Howlis Jordan, Zara Dene with Runaway here on the Mike Widener Show. Tell us more about that great song and what inspired you to write it. Howlis, you still with us? Yes, I'm still here. Okay, yeah, I was just trying to uh, get you here. So uh, <laughs> tell us more about My that problem. great song, Runaway. And uh, that's a great song, by the way. Tell us more about it. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, I appreciate that. Um, me and a good friend of mine, Chris Music, uh, we actually concepted the song um, in my studio, my old studio, uh, located in Warren, Michigan. Um, he uh, played a big part in the song, and initially we were both supposed to write to two different beats, and um, he was having some issues this particular day. I think he was sick or something like that, and he couldn't think of anything. So um, I came up with the hook first, and he approved. And after that, we – I'm sorry about that. I'm kind of uh, walking through a lot of stuff. Oh, that's, so, o- oh, um, that's okay. I mean, it, it's it's good you're doing this. So it's like good your family involved. I mean, family involvement is a really good thing. If they want to step in and say hi, you know, feel free to do so. I mean, it is a family project, and that's a good thing. We love it. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Well, um. So, so basically, me and him, we, we, we came up with the song together, and then um, I was like, you know, I think we need, like, a female vocalist um, to kind of bring out what we're talking about and kind of solidify everything, and that's when I got in contact with Zaire Dene, who um, I met through a mutual friend um, in the music business, and she had done some amazing things uh, with them, and I said, you know, I, I think I want to work with her. And our first project was Runaway. And uh, I met with her at the recording studio, another recording studio. And me and her, uh, her and I both, we wrote um, her part. And after that, we got it mixed and mastered, and it was ready to go. And I, mind you, I released the song before. I think this was back in March of 2020. I released it. And then um, a, a few months after that, I met with, you know, with my management and we kind of got things in order and we tightened up the brand and exactly what did we what we wanted to do and we re-released it in September and since then i mean since march really everybody has been super 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 supportive and we've got you know gotten an amazing response from the song and i'm just super thankful because you know um like i said i started off as a kid just wanting to be heard and having an opinion 
and wanted people to appreciate the work that, you know, I have for the world and to see everything come to fruition. Um, it's just absolutely mind blowing. And I'm super, super, super honored that people are appreciating my work. Mm -hmm. And very honored to have you as well, too. And uh, where can we find Runaway at, Hollis? Yeah, Runaway is available on all platforms, iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, iHeart. I mean, anywhere you can find music, YouTube. Um, we actually just released a video um, in September as well. So we have a music video and everything. And it's just it's available everywhere. And it's amazing, too. And we're here with the singer, songwriter, multi-talented House Jordan of Detroit, Michigan, here on the Mike Wagner Show. House, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely great. And looking forward to having you again soon. And um, just a few more things. What can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond, Hollis? Well, I have so many different things. My main, both, my main focus is to get more visuals out to the people. Um, I'm super active on social media, so I'm releasing content every single day. Um, and then in 2021, we're going to amp it up so much. And I just want people to be able to follow what I'm doing. So if you have Instagram, Facebook, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Hollis Jordan. Really, all social media is at Hollis Jordan. And I'm going to be introducing some amazing, amazing, amazing content. And then also I have new music coming out next year. And uh, I just want everybody to be tuned in so they can receive it properly. And we are so looking forward to it, Hollis. And uh, who do you consider biggest influence in your career? My biggest influence? Correct. Um, I, I would say my family. I would say my mom, my brother, my sister, um, and Michael Jackson. I, I can't forget about him because, <laughs> you know, like I said, he was like a, a huge, huge inspiration um, for me wanting to reach certain heights. But my mom trained me my mom showed me how to do all of this so i gotta give honor to her and i'm just i'm happy i'm happy <laughs> <laughs> you you sound very happy what you're doing you do an amazing job and what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point well well i would say whatever dream that you have you know don't allow anyone to dictate your future you know if you believe in something you work hard at it you can accomplish it um, and one of my downfalls is that, you know, you know, when I was working in the gospel industry, um, I allowed someone to to tear me down and, 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 and make me not believe in myself. And um, I overcame that. So I want to make sure that everybody out there understands and knows that if you work hard enough, people will get behind your vision. You have to you have to show and prove that you believe in yourself other people will follow mm -hmm. and that's very important once again singer songwriter and multi-talented Hollis Jordan of Detroit Michigan here on the Mike Wagner show Hollis a very big thank you for your time you've been absolutely fantastic looking forward to having you again soon do us a favor keep us up to date love you back on in 2021 and beyond and tell us about your upcoming projects what's your website how do people contact you where can people purchase or listen to your music yes um, I just released my second single called Party Produced by world-renowned producer Jupiter out of Detroit, um, but he resides in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and you can find my music, like I said, on all platforms, Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, all the music sites. Um, but I'm going to be delivering some great, great, great content next year. So I just want to I want to build and grow with everyone in the world. So. Make sure you guys stay tuned in. Definitely will. Once again, Hollis, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely great. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch, and especially in a wonderful world we live in. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate you having me. Thank you. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers 
designers who are well-focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon Real Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamohsenzia.com and www.amazon.com slash Mia Mohsen Zia. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.